So is this the beginning of a new piracy black spot off West Africa? Chris Tridolny, head of maritime security at the International Maritime Organization, joins us here in the studio. Chris, is the Gulf of Guinea now, I guess it seems like the new Somali coastline, is that what it's looking like? I don't believe it is. Uh, we've seen a number of incidents of uh, both piracy attacks and also armed robbery against ships uh, in West Africa for a number of years. The piracy off West Africa is actually different to the piracy off Somalia. Off Somalia, it's primarily about kidnap and ransom. It's about seizing the ship, seizing the crew, holding them until a ransom is paid. Off West Africa, it's primarily about theft. Uh, and in this case, increasingly about oil theft, theft of hydrocarbons, fuel, etc. And that is the target. So although the ships are taken, they're held, generally, uh, once the cargo is removed, the ships are then released. Even though uh, it seems like there's been a startling uptick in these attacks, can you explain why this is happening now? The numbers of attacks reported uh, over the last few years has been relatively consistent. Uh, the number of attacks reported to the International Maritime Organization last year were actually down 5% on the previous year. There is an increased focus on piracy in West Africa, partly because uh, the piracy off Somalia is decreasing and partly because the United Nations Security Council has taken an interest, so it's, it's a higher profile. It was easier to hide ships, especially in the Somali coast, when they were hijacked, they were hidden in those <coughs> creeks, I guess, if you will. Can, is the same being done in West Africa? And also, how do they, how do they get rid of that oil? How do they this sell is, up the oil? Yeah, th this is the key to the question. Uh, these tankers are being taken. Several thousand tons of oil on board is being landed somewhere. And the question really is, who's not noticing? Uh, what's being done ashore? Piracy and armed robbery are shore-based problems. They're organized criminal activities uh, solved by good policing ashore. In Somalia, you didn't have a fully functioning government. You don't have the rule of law. Whereas in most West African countries, you actually have a functioning state. You have law enforcement capability. So it's a case of harnessing that, focusing it for a better treatment of the problem. So I wonder what we'll do, what will you do to address this and to hopefully, if not eliminate, at least mm. decrease the frequency of attacks? Right. IMO is working on several levels. We're working with the states in the region, uh, basically trying to promote a joined up approach to maritime security and maritime law enforcement across the board. Piracy is just, and armed robbery, sorry, are, are one of several crimes that we're interested in. Illegal fishing is a major strategic threat to the region. Uh, smuggling of drugs, weapons, people, uh, just ordinary crime as well, and then piracy on top of that. So all of them require very similar things. They require a legal framework to deal with it. They require the capability to get out and interdict and arrest. They require uh, prosec you know, successful prosecutions and situational awareness as to where all the vessels are, where the threats are, and so on. So we're working with the governments there. We're also working with the economic blocs, uh, ECOWAS, ECAS, uh, Gulf of Guinea, uh, to put in a regional approach to it as well. Because it's a transnational crime, there needs to be cooperation between the states and the region to address it. If mm. I can ask just very quickly, yep. have you received any contact, heard anything from the French ship that was taken over the weekend? No. I mean, we, we don't, we're not an operational organization in that sense, so we wouldn't get that. What has happened in the past is the ships are taken, they disappear, uh, and then they reappear once the oil's taken off, largely somewhere in Nigeria. Mm. Chris, thanks so much for your insights. Appreciate that. That's Chris Trelawney, Head of Maritime Security at the International Maritime Organization.